You know, poor Marie Antoinette, if she'd have just let him eat this kind of cake, she might have kept her head. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Cook and Chris's Dishes with the good old boy, where we're cooking up dishes straight from recipes that crock.com, which is my beautiful wife's cooking blog, that has many, many recipes for our crock posse. Here it is, good as it gets. And today, we're going to give you a runner up. You see, a while back we had our first battle, our second battle, our third battle. Which battle was it? It was one. It was a battle. And we had a battle. And it was battle cake. And I'll just be honest, your heart really wasn't in the battle because you wanted both cakes. I did. Which is why we're making the <laughs> loser today. Because the runner up. The runner up, yeah. We, we don't want to call it a loser. All the time. No, we can't be winners all the time. <laughs> but it's still worth a try. So we're going to make the runner up, which is a lemon blueberry upside down cake. And it's real simple to make. It just takes about five minutes to put together. And it's not bad. Now listen, I'm gonna be honest with you because we love our crock posse and we're honest with our crock posse. It's not my favorite. Y'all did good by choosing the Rocky Road chocolate cake over the lemon blueberry. It was a fair winner. It, it did very well. We enjoyed making it. We definitely enjoyed eating it. This is a, a different <clears throat> kind of flavor, like a, a, a lighter flavor. That's that's the best way to put it. It's not that it doesn't taste good. It does taste good, and the texture is fantastic. I'll show you as I eat the finished product. <laughs> but when I made it, the first thing I was thinking is, mmm, lemon. That's gonna be a, that's gonna give some zing to it. And blueberry, ooh, it's gonna be really super super sweet. And really, it was neither. You you tasted the blueberry pie filling. You tasted the lemon cake, but nothing really came out and just punched you in the taste buds and said, woo. Lemon or woo blueberry. But I would say it's a really good dessert for like I think it would be a good dessert after a heavy meal. Yes. Like if you're just trying to. If have you're not wanting, if you're not wanting something really rich. Yeah, Aunt Lou mentions that especially because you whip up the egg whites that it makes the cake really light and fluffy. Yep. It's a really very airy. kind of a light, I think a lighter tasting mm -hmm. kind of dish. So. Because I think there's sometimes that even if you have the best dessert in the world, like ooey gooey, chocolatey, whatever, it if can you be a little eat, too much. If, yeah, if you eat that after a big heavy meal, mm -hmm. then it's like, oh, that's too much. And sometimes something light, lighter tasting like this is a little bit more refreshing. Now, something that I strongly suggest you add, and the only reason I'm not doing it is I'm going to make it just like I made it a while ago, and because we don't have any lemons is I would zest a lemon and put in the cake mix itself and that might give you a little bit more of a zing if you're wanting a little more of that zing, a little richer flavor. But we're going to do it just like Aunt Lou says. And Aunt Lou says, first off, take some oil, cooking spray, something, lock and load, and spray the inside of your crock, yes. your slow cooker. And then take your blueberry pie filling and put it in the bottom of the pot just like that get it all scraped out get all the goodness out of there you know what I bet would also be good with this what lemon and raspberry mm. it would well you know oh, I saw it tastes like a giant in zinger. our pantry I almost accidentally grabbed the blackberry filling and I thought that would be good mm, that would be good too now is that seed or, seeded or seedless? I don't know. I'd have to look. Not much for blackberry seeds. They're so big. That's enough of that right there. I'm gonna need that in a minute. <laughs> and now, what you want to do is you want two eggs. I guess I should tell them everything that goes in this, huh? Blackberry pie filling. No. Blueberry. Blueberry pie filling. Blackberry if you want to get crazy and just go against all the rules we just wrote here. <laughs> Blueberry pie filling. One box of a lemon cake mix. You want two eggs separated. Whites, yolks. You gotta keep them separated. Ow, 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 ow. Anybody? 
Who'd you say you sang that song? Offspring. Offspring. Annie, is that before y'all's time or? Ah, <laughs> uh, you also want one third cup of applesauce and one cup of water. Next thing I'm going to do is I've got my two whites in a bowl, and I want to beat it. Just beat it, beat it, until you have soft peaks. They got me in a Michael Jackson. Yeah. Kind of. Not yet. I'm gonna show you over here what I'm doing. Yeah, all right. Can you grab the notch? going. Get back here. Right there. Just about, I think. Let's see. Take it out and there you soft go. peak. There we go. <laughs> Done with the beaters. Done with the mixer. No, you're not. <laughs> so we're going to put this back in here like this. This is the last recipe that we're doing today. I'm a little loopy. <laughs> Hang on to that for a minute. Now, and you're going to have to correct me real quick before I mess this up. Well, hang on. But I believe wait, wait. <laughs> you put in your two yolks now. Hang on. Bloop, bloop. I know this is right because I did this once. Add in your yolks. Did that. Lemon cake mix and water and applesauce. And mix, mix together just until combined. You don't want to make a full-on pancake batter here, folks. So, honey, I think they're wanting you to, like, I don't think you use a mixer now. I think you use a spoon if it's to just combine. I probably shouldn't have threw that spoon in the sink, huh? Yeah. I have to clean that up later. <laughs> you might actually really do it this week because you're off. <laughs> Maybe. That's right. Daddy's on vacation. What does Daddy do when he's on vacation? He cleans the house. So, oh, he helps out. Oh, look, I had a spatula left. Na, 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 na. So you're done with the beaters, by the way. Did I tell you that? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this out of the way. <gasps> hey, guess what? I hit Someone the camera. bumped the camera. A little clumsy today. The talent doesn't like it when someone bumps the no. camera. I know this for, from experience. Watch how I do this. I'm going to try to keep the air, as much of the air in that yolk yeah. as I can, or in that, uh, in the whites. You just want to pretty much get everything evenly mixed together. Get your cake, or your cake mix wet with the applesauce, the water, and the egg. Just a little bit more. And you're going to see lumps. Lumps are okay. You're going to see clumps of yolk or not yolk but uh, whites it's okay this is nothing three two one stop and then you want to put that right over your pie filling bowl all cleaned off here trying not to make a mess or a bigger mess, that is. Who knows? In a bowl, just like it. Oh, and look, I'm making a mess. There you go. <laughs> there you go. And that is the end of that. Put your lid on it. No, no, no. Nay, nay, nay. That's what you think you should do. But see, you're baking a cake in a crock pot. There's a lot of liquid in there, from the pie filling to the eggs to, well, the cup of water and the applesauce. So, cool trick. I know you all have probably seen this before. Well, it, it bears repeating. I can't say it the way I want to say it, but it bears repeating. I'm gonna take 
Oh, Aunt Lou says eight. One, two, three, four. It's fine. Just a bunch. Five, six. I'll do six because this is a, rough, a, a round. round crock pot. All I want to do is create a seal between the lid and the crock itself. And that is what we want to call a moisture barrier. And what that's going to do is as this gets hot, the water is going to evaporate and uh, the majority of it is going to catch in your paper towel versus cling to the top and then rain down over your cake. Otherwise, it's never going to set up. It's always going to be wet on top. You don't want, you don't want soupy cake. So let me find a spot to get rid of my slow cooker. I'm running out of room! Now, anytime you're baking in the crock pot, your time is going to vary. This is high for 90 minutes to two hours, is what Aunt Lou says. Okay. And pretty much what you're looking for is until you get it to where it's completely baked up. Yes. And sometimes what you're going to need to do towards the end is remove the lid or move the lid over to let the center set the rest of the way out. Um, you're, by and, the end of it, you're just trying to dry it out. Right. And you, because the center will be the last to, to set up. You also have, um, you, you want to watch around the outside edges. Like that one had one side that was cooking um, faster than the other side. So about halfway through cooking, I rotated Turned the slow cooker. And it was done in about an hour 45, I think, something like that, two hours. Yeah. Now, Lou said hers got done an hour and a half. Right. When I say rotated, I mean I took the crock up out of the slow cooker and turned it so that the crock would be heating on a different side. Right. So. Just to cook it evenly. And you can see, well, one, there's a giant hole in this cake. We cooked this up for the quickie, and then we had it for dessert after dinner. That's cool. But, which is all, that's actually not bad, though. Because it lets you look down in here and you can see the pie filling and how it's kind of even soaked into the cake a little bit. And if you can see on the sides here where it's gotten browned up and in the middle it's sunk in. That's because in this slow cooker, the middle, it took a lot longer for it to get done, like a cake would. And so it, by the time the rest of it had set up, the middle had sunk down. It's still set up fine, but not as quick as the rest of it did. This is the rest. These kinds of recipes are for your most even cooking slow cookers, and for you casserole crock people, I don't think I'd recommend it, just because the center is so hard to get done sometimes on those casseroles, uh, or in the casserole crock. So I would, uh, I would suggest you use your most even cooking um, slow cooker. Our Ninja does really well with um, even slow cooking. Most of our browning slow cookers do really, really well. Um, and a lot of our ovals do all right as well. That one did fine. Um, but I would say we have others that it would even cook up more mm -hmm. evenly. So tell us what you think, good? It's fluffy. It's fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> There's still a lot of flavor in that. Yeah. And you know, I think we undersold when, it just a little bit. <laughs> here's the thing: when we had it, when we first ate it, uh -huh. it was still hot. Yeah. And when it was still hot, it was. It just it was it was a lot blander than it is now. Because now I'm okay. I'm I'm gonna retract a lot of what I said before. <laughs> I would still put lemon zest in it. I would because I like that extra bite, that extra mm -hmm. acidic flavor to go with it. Mm -hmm. And I love everything lemon, lemon, lemon. Poppy seed muffins, lemon meringue pie. Oh, but now that that has cooled down a little bit, honestly, it's really, really, really good. The blueberries give a good accent to the lemon. The lemon has really come out in this cake now. I bet you it's going to be better tomorrow with a great big glass of milk or a big cup of coffee. Oh. Uh -huh. mm. It's real airy in the middle, and that's where you took those whites and fluffed them up. He didn't make a meringue out of it, but he mixed it up to a soft peak and just gave it more more air in the middle of it. Not near as airy as an angel food cake, but there's still a lot of density to that cake, but a lot lighter than a Rocky Road chocolate cake. For all y'all who may not have been happy with the, the choice for the Rocky Road, I would make this. Let it cool off. 
and enjoy it. That'd be really good. Yeah. That is going to be good with a glass of milk and probably another spoonful of that cake when we get done here. Oh. I made plans for this evening. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. Definitely give it a try. I, uh, I'm sold on it now. But thank y'all for watching another episode of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy. If you like what you saw, well, like it. Right down there's a thumbs up and a... Don't worry about that. Thumbs down. Don't worry about that. Worry about the thumbs up. <laughs> click that like button. And also, if you're not a member of our Croc Posse, click subscribe down below. You'll become a member of our beloved family of Croc Posse members. Also, check us out over on our Facebook page, which is as good as it gets. Join the group. Also, check us out on Twitter at Recipes Croc and on Instagram at Recipes That Croc. And we thank y'all for watching because if you keep watching, we'll keep cooking and all will be well.